Oh my god. Oh my god. Hurry up! I will leave you for dead! Ah! Are we on? Okay. Hi! So, I was supposed to be living the typical fairyland love story. I had it all planned out, down to the crown I'd wear when I got married, and the spell the witch was going to cast on me. Then things got totally messed up, and my entire life went from love story to horror story. It all started on my 16th birthday, and you know how important 16th birthdays are to fairyland princesses. <laughs> 16th birthdays are basically made for very pretty young princesses to fall in love in like five minutes, get cursed by a witch like an hour later, and get saved by her one true love 20 minutes after that. And I had everything worked out perfectly. See, I'd chosen my fairy godmother early, mainly because I already happen to have a godmother who just happens to be a fairy, and she's wonderful and sweet and perfect and great. <laughs> Things were going swell. Yes, swell. Everything was perfect in happy land. By the way, this is happy land, a place where nothing is supposed to go wrong. Well, other than the inevitable witch's curses, which are like, basically guaranteed in a place where magic runs the energy system. I had been planning on doing something simple to piss off the witch who never lets anybody mow her lawn. At least, I was pretty sure she was a witch. But fate had other plans and just had to go and ruin everything! It's a great idea, Fifi. I'm going to have the meet the prince, witch curse, damsel in distress thing anyways, so it'll save me a lot of time if I just have the documentary crew film in. Tell the cameras I'm right, Fifi. You know, I hate when you call me that. Which is exactly why I do. Anyways, when our future children ask about how we met, we'll have full documentation of the entire thing. I'm a genius. You better hope your great prince is a fan of us. It's better that he find out now that he'll have full control of our kingdom, but not our marriage. Imagine how difficult it would be for him to figure that out when we turn 40. Ew. I can't, I can't imagine being 40. Can you? <sighs> Anyways, he, and he wants to name our first daughter something stupid like Callie Andromeda, or something equally as hideous and made up, and I have to inform him that our first daughter's name has already been chosen and is to be Genevieve. He'd feel so impotent and helpless. Especially as a king who has no say in his own life but gets to control everyone else's. So sad. Gotta hope the people filming this don't get that part in. Why? No reason. Okay, well, anyways, go away. I've only got like two hours to prepare to meet him, and wait, this outfit looks good, right? It's like what that bitch Belle wore when she mourned Adam. God, I can't believe she snagged him. I wanted him. I mean, I'll settle for Charles. He's beautiful, and he's just smart enough to keep me entertained while not talking down to me. But, I mean, we've seen Adam. He's otherworldly. I have no clue how we ever became friends. It was Peter Pan's fault. We both wanted to be Wendy, and somehow that bonded us together for life. Oh, Xavier, whatever do I do? I'm awfully nervous about today, and Fiona's convinced that everything's going to go terribly wrong. Hey, is that any way to think about meeting your true love? No. Exactly! Forget Fiona. She's too pessimistic sometimes. You know that this will all work out, and that's what matters. Oh, Xavier, you always know the right thing to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Wait, are you, are you filming this? I'm paying you. You don't get to film.
film this unless I give you explicit permission to film me. Oh my god! Turn it off! Turn it off! What are you? Turn it off! Fun fact, the prince, Prince Charles, he walks around in a crown, like, all the time. Cleopatra does it too, but she's crazy. She just likes sparkly things though. Which is why she has like 50 different tiaras of varying sizes. But the prince wears a crown because he's a jerk. Most people would say they're made for each other. But Cleopatra? She can be a good person. It takes some digging to find that out usually. Like five years worth of digging. He's a zombie! He's a mother freaking zombie! What did I ever do? to deserve this, huh? She wasn't exaggerating. He is a zombie. I mean, of all the bad luck in the world, I had to get a zombie. The worst part is it was the witch who doesn't like anyone mowing her lawn. I cut a tiny piece. Huge, Cleo. You cut a huge piece of her lawn, which was apparently some really dangerous herb, and she sent the zombie apocalypse on you. Shut Fifi, can't you see I am in pain? My life will never be the same. My world is falling apart. My prince enjoys eating brains now. What are we going to do? Zombies are bad. They're awful. They can't even be defined as evil because they're just really, really stupid. I mean... Prince Charles is out there, right now, and I'm stuck in here with you on what was meant to be the happiest day of my life. I was supposed to get my happily ever after, and yet that bitch of a witch just had to screw me over. You were the idiot who mowed her lawn. You saw that grass. You saw it. It was crazy high, and you mowed it. Even the bravest of fairies wouldn't go anywhere near that yard. You are the idiot here. You started this apocalypse. Not on purpose! <sighs> now, scratch that. He's not dead, he's undead. And now we have to kill him. What? I was supposed to marry him and have his babies and rule the kingdom and be the most adorable damsel in distress. <laughs> And then my best friend decided that I just had to kill him. All because he's a zombie! Zombies aren't people, Cleopatra. Well, how do you know that, Fiona? Have you ever met a zombie? Have you ever had a conversation with a zombie? He's still a prince. Just because his zombie form is still wearing his zombie crown, it doesn't mean he's still a leader. He can't even form words. He has to die before the disease spreads. But I love him love his title. What's the difference? Charles may be dead, but his story lives on, and so does the zombie apocalypse. I guess we'll never really know who started it. It was you. You started it. I guess we'll never really know who started it. But what we do know is that I was super helpful in trying to end it. Oh, and that I'm super handy with a sword. I'm sure you'll be hearing more from me at some point, but right now I'm going to have to run. There are zombies at the door. Brains. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Don't touch me like that, you stupid zombie! 